Aries, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for October 21st through the uh, 27th. And uh, I'll be taking a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate with all of you. If they do, I do have an extended. It's in the description box. That'll be talking about where your person is at in regards to you for uh, this period of time. So let's take a look here. Whoops. Oopsie. So, the overall energy here for the reading is the Two of Pentacles. I kind of feel like you've got a lot going on. you got a lot on your plate right now. Huh. Let's see. In your recent past, you get the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Devil. Um, somebody left here. There was a connection. Somebody probably left you. And I feel a lot of resistance on your part to work with this. And uh, that's the devil energy coming in. Because I kind of get the sense that what happened was somebody left. And instead of looking at, hold on, where did I go wrong in this? You were kind of like, oh, you asshole, you whatever. It's your fault for hurting me. Go. I don't need you. You suck. Bye. You know, that kind of energy is just, there's a lot of things to say about that kind of energy, but it's not recognizing and assuming your part of things here. What, what was it that you did wrong or you thought you did wrong? You know, starting to fix that, starting to work on that so that it doesn't come up in future connections, in other relationships, you know, so that you start doing things, you know, better next time. Um, I don't know if that's you or your person. I am getting a little bit that it's you. Could be them. Reverse it if you have to. But instead of starting to look at them, uh, whoever got left started, you know, throwing it all on the other person. It's their fault. I don't care. Bye-bye. You know? And you do care. I mean, yeah, you do care. Um, in your current situation, you get the Six of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Magician. You're trying to put this behind you. You're trying to put all of whatever happened in the past with this person. You're trying to let it go. Uh, you're becoming more and more defensive, more and more like if you come back, I'm going to hurt you. Uh, and you're trying to manifest something new for yourself, possibly another connection, possibly, I don't know, whatever. You're trying to manifest a better life for yourself overall. Uh, where you're heading towards in your immediate future is straight into this. A lot of thoughts, a lot of torment, a lot of a lot of things not being taken care of when they should have in the past there, you know, instead of blaming people. That's normal, by the way, you know, when something happens, there's a breakup, sudden, something, something happens. The natural, human, normal kind of thing, first thing to do is to be like, what? you're the one that hurt me, you're the one that did this and this and this, but that settles down after a while, usually, and that's the time for you to start looking at yourself, okay, what did I do wrong in this, you know, because I feel like somebody missed that part, you know, and they got stuck into the, the first part of things, where they keep blaming the other person, and in the near future, it's coming back, it's happening, it's putting it into your head. It's creating a lot of insecurities, a lot of this and that and that, you know? Because that's what happens, usually, if you don't 
start looking at you a little bit. I know it sucks. I know it's especially for <laughs> for a fire sign. No, we're perfect. You know, we're perfect. What what can we do wrong ever? Nothing. We're perfect, <laughs> right? No, we have our own flaws, lots of them. Um, but you are gonna start looking at things slowly but surely. You are gonna do it. You are gonna start addressing things here. All right. Okay. Let's see what you have on your plate here. Let's see this two of pentacles. What was this? Yeah, again, it's shown up here. This connection, heartbreak, it ended. I don't know what happened, but something happened here that hurt you a lot. And there's a lot of self-deceiving kind of energy here where you're telling yourself things. You're convincing yourself that you did nothing wrong, that, again, you were perfect, you know. Um, I'm not saying that you weren't, but probably you weren't. <laughs> um, we all, it, it's always in the middle, you know. There's always my share of things and uh and uh and you're avoiding dealing with that you're avoiding taking responsibility you know if that's you it could be the other person again you would know but there's this energy of and you don't know how to do it possibly you're trying to figure it out and you don't know how but you're struggling with that a little bit i see it i see it popping up here and it's giving you a little bit of a hard time here because it doesn't feel right also to put all the blame on that person, you know? And the reason it's not feeling right, it's because you know deep down that something within you needs to be worked on also. So, let's see... Hmm, let's see this devil in your recent past. Why do my neighbor kids like my window? I wonder. Uh, all right, so. Yeah, you're not, um, you know what you're doing? You're starting to feel sorry for yourself. Uh, you're starting to wait for this person still and the feeling sorry about yourself part that's the devil kind of energy where again instead of looking at what needs to be looked at you're trying to bring them back into your life by making them possibly feel guilty for leaving uh playing the victim a little bit you know well, let's see the six of swords in your current energy So you want to go, you want to leave this connection behind, but you feel like you can't, you're resisting this, you're resisting walking away from it, because uh, you still love this person, alright, you're realizing that, man, it's so freaking hard, because I still love them, so how do I do it, and it's been quite some time that you've done that, that you've tried to put this away, and you can't, because at the end of it all, you still love this person, and you're realizing that, and you don't like that. You don't like that feeling that you can't let them go. But currently, it feels like you can't. Let me see this uh, magician here. You want to take a chance with them, but you're not. You're stopping yourself. Because you're in your head a lot. You're creating a lot, a lot, a lot of thoughts here where you're imagining like what it would be like to take another chance with this person. And you're going through a hundred different scenarios here and it's just, it's just creating thoughts here for you and stopping you from taking any kind of action. You're stopping yourself, you know? What you're trying to manifest is this going towards your person and it's not working out because you're creating too many thoughts here 
you know, you're you're kind of in your own way here a little bit. You're not doing it on purpose. You're not doing it on purpose. Ah, Aries, Aries, Aries. Let's see this uh, Eight of Swords in your immediate future. Yeah, you're stuck on how it used to be. It used to be very, very good, very happy. You and your person here uh, being all stable, all grounded. There was, you would talk about anything. You would, you know, they gave you that stability kind of feeling where you possibly even took it for granted and then it was gone and then you were like, oh my God, what the hell, you know? Um, but you're stuck. You're stuck thinking about that. Thinking about the way it used to be here. And I kind of feel like you're going to take action, you know, to fix things. You're going to start fixing things. And I kind of feel like you're going to start fixing yourself first. So let's see this uh, page of swords here for your immediate future. Yeah, there you are. Yep, 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 yep. You're learning, you're growing emotionally, spiritually, in every kind of way, you're growing into this king. And when you do get this status, you're ready. You're ready to offer something to this person, to whoever at that point. Um, you're going to be ready, but you still have some things to work through before you get here, and you know it. And currently, I feel like you are working on those things. It's just going to take a little bit of time. But you're getting there. That's your end goal. That's what's happening. It's happening. All right? So keep doing it and be patient. It takes, it takes a little bit, you know? Let me pull up some cards here from the universe for you. Yeah, this was like a constant battle within yourself here. But it's reaching this beautiful resolution here at the end. Yep, there's love here. The one thing you can be certain of is that you two are a very strong soul connection here. There's a lot of love here. And this is wish fulfillment for the both of you, not only on your side. But you are working through some issues here that you need to clear away so that you have uh, space here to walk towards this. Because this is your happiness, you know it, and your person knows it. So, that's what I have for you, Aries. Keep on keeping on. It's, uh, it's, it's going to get there. It just needs a little more time, you know, and attention, on your, your attention. So, uh, that's it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.